Institute for High Energy Physics. Voxel Imaging PET Scanner, Pathfinder. Medical Group at the Institute for High Energy Physics has developed an innovative technology that will enhance new positron emission tomography PET scanners, providing clear benefits such as earlier tissue tumor detection, improved accuracy of therapies based on tumor size evolution and tracking, much lower radiation exposure for patients. The needed dose in blood will be reduced by a factor of 30 with even better imaging results than existing devices. Better brain imaging, in particular when combined with magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. Let's first understand how a PET scanner works. A sugared radionuclide tracer is introduced in the human body, typically in the blood circulation. Tumor cells are characterized by higher sugar consumption than healthy cells. Therefore, whenever the affected tissue is located, the cancer cells consume the sugar from the tracer, which releases positive charged particles called positrons. Each positron soon combines with a free electron inside the body, and both particles annihilate, producing a pair of photons. The photons move in opposite directions, drawing a straight line if neither of them is scattered. Millions of photon pairs are emitted and reach the ring detector. The photons intersect with the ring walls, marking the ends of their straight lines. The intersection of several lines marks the exact location of high isotope concentration. The more active the cancer cell is, the more sugar it consumes, the higher the concentration of isotopes, and hence the higher the rate of positron emission. The collection of hundreds of millions of points allows sophisticated computer software to build a 3D, fixed image, or 4D, changing over time model of cancer tissues and their concentration. Let's take a closer look and see how iPhase innovations compare with existing PET scanner devices. Current detector rings are made of multiple square blocks which leave gaps along the circle, allowing photons to escape undetected. IFA has reshaped the squared block detectors into a more trapezoidal shape. The photon capture ratio is improved by a factor of 7.5. The light particle travels across the detector until it is captured by a common cadmium telluride sensor instead of the scintillating crystal sensors currently in use, improving efficiency. The number of steps needed to convert gamma rays into electrons is reduced drastically. The energy resolution is much better due to the solid state sensor material. As a result, false signals from scattered photons can be detected by their reduced energy due to collisions with obstacles in their path. Overall, we can improve signal detection efficiency by a factor of 30 without compromising on the image quality and this will lead to a revolution in PET imaging and its applications.